Hi, in this video, we will discuss about SAP security authorization trace. Very first question comes to our brain. Why do we require authorization trace? We know that when any of the user does not have some access, in that case, if we are not able to find the exact reason, one of the technique is to go with authorization trace. With this authorization trace, we can identify the missing access against the user ID. So how can I switch on the trace? So I can switch on the trace using some T codes like ST01 or ST auth trace. Here, these traces can be either for a specific instance or it can be the system wide or you can trace for all users at once or even you can trace for a specific user, specific T code or a specific program, etc. So in this video, let us see at a glance the usage of ST01 T code and ST auth trace T codes. So first let us see about ST01 T code for authorization trace. As a security consultant, Generally, when we have an issue for missing access, uh, we analyze using SU-53. But in SU-53, it records only the error authorizations, but it does not give you the successful authorizations. Now, in ST-01, we can see both the error-related authorizations as well as the successful authorizations as well. So ST01 is a system trace, which is an instance specific trace. So this trace is applicable only to a specific instance. If suppose user is on instance X, we need to switch on the trace on instance X. If not, the trace will not be recorded. So how to do in ST01? It is very easy. You can go to general filters in general filters you can switch on the uh, trace either by user id or maybe the transaction or program etc generally for tracing the missing access of user we will give the user id and we will check the trace component as authorization check here you can see two options in the screen uh, one is all and errors. So if we select option as errors, we will again give the information of error authorization checks. So better to select the all button and just switch on the trace. Once the activity is completed, you can switch off the trace and click on analysis button. Once you click on the analysis button, at the below screen will be displayed. And that provide the username for which you have switched on the trace, select the time zone and select the option authorization check. Then it will give you the trace as shown. Here there will be some written codes. If it is zero, there is no issue with the authorization. If it is zero four, then means user has the authorization for that object but some activity or the value is missing if it is 12 then user does not have the authorization if any case if it is 0 we need not to work but if it is rc04 or 12 uh, we need to check on the missing authorizations or the values here one note point is that it is not only that we can do authorization trace but we can also do the trace for uh, kernel functions or db access http calls rfc calls etc multiple options are available in st01 basically used by the sap basis consultants so we have seen st01 captures both successful and unsuccessful transactions and and it is only for a specific instance unlike st01 ST auth trace is one T code where we can switch on trace for system wide as well. That means 
we can switch on the trace for all the available application servers at a given time or you can also do for a specific instance as well so both options are available in this st auth trace so let us see here uh, if i want to switch on system wide trace in st auth trace you need to click on the option system wide trace so then it will display you all the servers available and you can select the user id it will switch on the trace for the user in all servers if you want to switch on the local trace that is to a specific instance we will click on the option local trace then it will switch the trace only on that particular instance here again we have multiple options trace can be switched only for errors if we click this option it will show the error authorizations if we unclick it will show both successful and unsuccessful how to activate the trace so it is very easy just we'll go to the st auth trace you will select the type of trace that is either system wide or local and you will fill the fields maybe the trace for single user or multiple users and you will check the option you want either trace for errors or complete trace and if you have any other restrictions you will apply the restrictions and you'll just activate so once the user has replicated the activity you can deactivate it after that you can evaluate the results so missing trace screen for st auth trace resembles as similar to st01 so this is the different ways of doing authorization traces in sap at a glance st01 or st auth trace either of the t code can be used for sap security authorization trace st01 is specifically used to trace in a specific instance whereas st auth trace is used for both specific instance as well as the system wide so based on the requirement we will choose either of the t code